trail parts have updated the pre-assembled Credo. We're going to look at the new wiring setup for installation. Open up your pre-assembled box by removing the four screws around the base of the unit. Gently lift the front of the box. Remove the top case, revealing the internal wiring and components. Start off feeding your two light cables into the unit through the bottom of the glands located at the rear of the Credo module. Time to connect the wiring to the module's rear 7-core cable, as you would a standard trailer. This wiring diagram can be found by visiting the Trail Parts website. Look for Credo installation guides in our resource library. Time to connect the breakaway switch. Using one of the front glands, again you want to feed the wires from the bottom of the box. Fasten the gland nut. The polarity of these wires will function either way. Next we get the module's front 7 core cable. After feeding on a gland nut, thread the cable through a front gland from the top. Connect the plug to the 7 core cable following standard wiring procedures. Check with the instruction manual if unsure. If not yet done, connect the power for both the module and the CTEC charging port, starting with the positive cables. Now connect the negative cables. On the positive module cable, you will find a 40 amp fuse. Check this is correctly fitted. Your Credo wiring is now complete. Fit the box cover back on and fasten the four bolts. The final step is to attach your brake lines. Using a double banjo bolt, fasten both hoses to the pump output located under the box. Ensure your battery is fully charged before each journey, indicated by a green flashing LED on the CTEC port. When the trailer is not in use, we recommend plugging it into a CTEC battery maintenance charger. Hopefully this video shed some light on the installation of the new Credo. Cheers.